guys, it's Carrie, the Invisible Goddess, and today we're finishing up a project. Can you tell I always look at what I'm about to talk about? So we're finishing up a project in my 24 hours of crochet video, um, which we're going to consider this a continuation of, even though there's going to be sewing in it, because I think I only have like an hour left uh, on crocheting for that 24 hour challenge and uh, we're going to be doing some of that in this video to finish off this project. First off I'm going to put a picture of the inspiration piece right here. Okay, so if you go back to the previous video, you will know that I made two panels of this. Um, here's one. Here's the second one. And they've been done for a while. I don't want to tell you what day it is <laughs> or what the date is. Um, so I have finished both of these. I don't have enough hands and I don't have my little tripod. I have decided that we're going to use this kind of powder baby blue zipper because I don't have a great green one and this kind of matches the um, you know I took color theory in college for my interior design slash uh, applied arts degree <laughs> I can't tell if I'm using the right word or not the values are the same like it is not the same for this blue but it's the same for this green even though it's a different color Tell me in the comments below what the actual word that I'm looking for is. By the way, sneak peek. I did some work, work down here. Um, okay, so that's the zip. And I'm going to flip you around so you can see the, fat, the lining fabric. Because that's really all this needs is the lining fabric. Okay, so I kind of have problems picking out fabric to go with, but I think this is pretty good. So we have the green, the blue, even though it's pretty faint, that is blue. Um, that's obviously magenta, or maybe not so obviously, but that's magenta. But this peach color is kind of pink. And then, you know, off-white, yellow, whatever, that's yellow, this is off-white. Um, depending on when this comes out, you'll know that this is actually salvaged fabric, which is actually going to work great for me because there is already an edge on the top, so I'm just <laughs> going to um, attach the zipper to this end, and then I am going to, you know, Sorry, I'm going to cut a square, this is the sleeve, or a square-ish, um, hopefully the other sleeve <laughs> will also be there. And I'm going to put the zipper in with the sewing machine and I'm going to serge the rest of it so I don't have to worry about it unraveling hopefully. Um, and show you what else I'm doing, hold on. Excuse my washer going in the background. These are cross body bags. Let me back up a little. I really can't. Okay, so this is my where all my finished stuff stock is. And you can see these are cross body bags. I already have straps, so I am not making I'm not crocheting a strap. This is for a nine year old kid. She will not be gentle so I have to make it to withstand you know actual use so I'm using existing crossbody straps and I'm going to put d-rings just like this by little tabs that I'm going to sew inside to the actual fabric so the fabric is doing all the work the crochet portion it it's not structural, so all the structure is coming from the fabric. 
Uh, I'm not lining the fabric, if that makes sense, because the fabric is the lining for the crochet. Can you hear that? The washer's done. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to get started with that. Guys, sometimes I don't even know why I bother to sew because all it does is freaking irritate me. So, I had intended to go down, around, and up, and quickly decided that shit was not going to work. I did this side, you know, okay. I had to hold this out of the way, and I got the seam, so fantastic. On the side, this was my first attempt, and, uh, you know, yeah, I missed, like, that much. Um, so I started back down further and, you know, tried to avoid cutting what I had already sewn. And I thought I was doing really good until I took it off the machine and saw that I freaking missed the very top. So rather than try this for a third fucking time, there's my tail, I am going to weave my tails, but I'm hand sewing this little fucking part right there. And we're going to call that good. Oh, I have figured out how I'm going to attach this to this. And it's going to be fine. Like. Uh, what I thought was a screw up is probably what I actually wanted to do. So <laughs> there is that.
Sanitizer in the oven. Is that my best work ever? Nope. <laughs> Will it work for an eight-year-old? Nine-year-old? I'm sorry, she turned nine, so I keep seeing, saying the wrong thing. I need to cut cut the ends. I, I'm, you saw I just did the weaving, so all I need to do is cut them. I would like for the zipper tabs to sit a little further down, but, but they're not going to because I can't sew through them to make that happen. I do still need to sew this um, where I missed it with the serger, I think. And try to just push it up underneath. So that's what she sees inside. And of course the strap that we talked about but I see a freaking hole there it is <laughs> 